Hey, what's up guys? It's the Gazman here, back playing another computer game, this time Automation. Uh, and today we've got a kind of uh, special, uh, or at least different challenge to something that, the 20 thing that I've seen in the uh, Automation community. What we are going to do today is try and create the worst, best car ever made. Now, uh, I'll flash the rules up on the screen here so you can actually try and understand what the hell I'm saying. So basically what we want to do is create a car with a 200 or more market score, which um, I'll, I'll show to you um, <laughs> what that means if you don't understand in a second, um, and a 60% or more affordability score, um, and uh, the thing must be terrible to drive when we port it into BeamNG. So let's, uh, let's start now, let's get sandbox mode open and start the creation. Now, what do we want to create? That's the first sort of question, I guess. Um, do we want to go... I suppose what you'd be thinking, I guess, at home is, you know, go for something really sporty and exciting but make it a real handful to drive, but I don't think I can get the market score up to 200 as easily. What I'm thinking is if we can ever get the car settings to load, there's one. There we go, there we go. Uh, what I'm thinking is if we do something do something of a luxury bent and spam the whole um, comfort packages, so uh, basically get you know the most luxurious interiors and um, best features and whatever, that will get us a whole bunch of points. Uh, and then we can focus on making the thing just an absolute pain in the ass to drive. And I I don't think we want to be making it modern either, actually. I might take down the model year by... Oh, deselect the body first. Uh, we might go all the way back to... Hmm, where's something I like? Where's it? Look. Hmm... That seems almost fitting. Oh, that looks a bit too crap, doesn't it? Where's something that sort of... I want something that sort of sits in that middle ground. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, There we go. There we go. That big sedan is what I'm thinking of there. That looks like an absolute yacht. So let's let's go for that. And let's decrease the model year so we've got 1975 technology. That'll be great. Now we got to go back and find the bloody thing. There we go. So we'll settle with that. Now, let's see. What should we make this out of? All right, let's actually sync this time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? We might start this again. We, we might start this again. We might go... We might follow something that I did in a campaign mode. And we'll go, we'll go, we'll go flat out luxury. We'll go flat out luxury. But we'll go 1956. Because I think we can make a proper land yacht that's going to be terrible to drive. So we'll do that. We'll reduce that. There we go. Look, there's our beautiful beast. Um, so we've got roughly the same settings available to us. There you go, rear engine. And boy, isn't that a big place for an engine. Um, okay. Should we... What happens if we offset the rooms? Can we increase that score? No, we can't. And that just makes it slightly... Oh, oh dear. Well, that's clipping through. There we go. Make that a bit better. What if we just did the fronts? Because that's going to make it a complete nightmare to drive. Sorry about the clicking. Eh, that works. Okay. Brakes. They're as big as they can be. 
I didn't envision I'd have this much trouble with it. We might have to actually go into campaign mode and create something there. Because I, I don't know what it is about the, uh, about the scores here, but they don't seem to be as high as the campaign mode. We'll, uh... We'll... Yeah, I think we might end up doing that. All right. Build from scratch. Oh, I do not want a family car. Here we go, it's luxury car time. Where is my land yacht? Give me my land yacht, boy. There we go. <laughs> Let's do this. Small engineering time, we'll go fiber class. Uh, Galvanize. Yeah. Once again, creaky chair. Rear engine. <laughs> Tempted to go leaf springs at the front. Oh no! <laughs> oh, the suspension just dropped like my job prospects after the coronavirus got out. There we go. Big boys coming out the top. Perfect. And we'll go to minus three. New engine project. Here it comes. And this will just be this will just be a little babby engine before the um, before the big chunker comes out at the end. So we'll get that V12. We're gonna do this again. Uh. Yep, there you go. Little push rod V12, cast iron heads there. Forge steel, let's let's get that big time up RPM. There we go, that'll only cost us a little bit extra with the forge works and the factory. No turbos of course. Ooh, look at those carb options available to us. Put a Huh, engineering times a factor. I'll just put a twin carb on it for now. And uh, leaded fuel, of course. What else? Let's just chuck that down a bit because we know it's going to knock and have valve flows and just have all the issues. Dual exhaust there. Uh, baffled and reverse mm. flow. And oh, yep, yeah, that's yeah, pretty not great to start with. Uh, cam profile adjustments, that thing, it just drops through the floor. Oops, wrong way. There you go, 180, pretty damn good, even for a 5 litre V12. Um, no, it's the valve float we need to fix. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a very, very aggressive cam profile. Um, we just reduce this to 5.4 and yeah that's that's really impacted on our power but as long as we get good scores from like the luxury demographic which I think this engine might do then we can just coast through oh Jesus that's big right, let's make it a big boy again God, you can't flare out the wheel arches on these that's really annoying oh oh I didn't notice that one before there you go, look at long boy. Look at long boy. Yes. Oh, oh, God. That's an interesting feature. Okay, let's, let's fix that to make it look slightly. <laughs> it's just... I can't help but wonder whether or not it's my reluctance on letting go of the V12. That's causing some issues, but if we can get to muscle premium here, low sportiness. That body type penalty is going to be really hard to overcome. Like, really quite difficult indeed. How do we lose those... Did we just lose those points on the exhaust? Oh, we did. Ugh. 
We might just keep the exhaust where it was, because all of a sudden if you add 7 mil to the exhaust, the luxury crowd are just like, no thanks. And we'll keep the reverse flow on the muffler, it's going to make this thing really ridiculously quiet. Uh, so triple carb, do we... Um, uh, yikes, this is... I'm having a lot more difficulty I'm having a lot more difficulty now than when I was actually trying to do this. Okay, so I want automatic. Let's give him some speed. There's gotta be some way you can manipulate this. To get those extra like 70 points really easily. That they're always there's 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 a way. Uh, okay, they want radials. That's ridiculously annoying for our purposes. Let's see if we can stick with the cross pliers for now. Uh, okay, that helps to have those down there. Put that up. Oh, hello! Didn't see you there. Look at that body type penalty, and I do believe we have the quite frankly ridiculous convertible thing there. That'll only give us a body type penalty of minus five. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is this is the new one. This is this is the new This is the new hope that we pin everything on. We go for these people. Now, what do you want? Gear ratios can stay roughly the same. Wheels. Do you want radials in your luxury car? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Okay, do they want really skinny front tires? No, they do not. Oh, how dare these luxury people... Oh, how, how dare they want a car that actually grips the road to any great degree? Oh! Yep, that worked. Go make the tyres. Tell me you want them fatter. Tell me you want them fatter. Oh, gross. gross. <gasps> yes, yes, we are nearly there. Okay, the presets. I forgot. To, I forgot to play with these. Always do till right at the very end. All right. So one ninety. Oh, the drivability is ready at one hundred percent. Okay, that's going to make things reasonably difficult. Is there any other... It's a phonograph. Oh, that does it! Oh, that does it! I don't know what a phonograph is, but we have made something that apparently does not have great production efficiency. So we're going to be making five of these, really, but they're going to be luxurious as all hell. They're going to not be able to stop. Mm. Why? I've got it on Do Not Disturb. Okay, so they're going to be luxurious as all hell. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's do some modifications to this thing. Alright. Actually, you, you, yeah, yeah, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Suicide doors. Yes, I always do that and it always looks fantastic. Alright, what's next? A fuel cap. You gotta put chrome on it. It has to be chrome and it has to be big. The, everyone knows that the only elements to luxury in the automobile world are chrome and big. So we've got to make this thing as big and chrome as possible. Actually, I wonder. Yes! Oh, it's so luxurious! Oh, look at that. It's, oh, it's Donald Trump as an automobile, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're calling it. We're going to call it the Trumpster. Yes. Oh, that's, that's, that's so incredibly just offensive to my eyes. We're keeping that. Right, tail lights. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
Okay, we've got some really nice, like, 60s and 70s sort of tail lights here. I know, I, I know I'm not being very error-specific with my uh, add-ons and fixtures here, but this is my car. <laughs> you want your car? Make your own internet video. Uh... Is that... Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. We've accidentally made the car out of cloth. Uh, where is... There it is. <laughs> we made the roof out of chrome. Gross. Um, okay. New paint. Let's go a cloth. Or oh, leather. Oh, yes. We, we That has to be a leather roof now. That absolutely has to be a leather roof. Mmm. Ugh. I am disgusted by what I have done. So what are we missing? We're missing a big, big time aerial for our big time radio phonograph system. We'll put we'll put two of those in. We, that's extra luxury. Um, I was gonna say put a big chrome strip across the back, but we don't really need it, do? Oh. Yeah, we don't really need it. I'm going to put one in anyway. There we go. That is... That is absolute luxury that you're not going to notice. It's it's a travesty. It is. We should put, we should put like a big... A big hood, like, scoop on it. There you go. Even though the engine is back here, that's perfect. Is there anything else we can... Oh, mirrors. How could I forget? There you go. Big big chrome boys. Big chrome boys. Now, I've always been a fan of... Um, and maybe I'll flash, a, flash an image of them up. These, those um, old skylines from the 60s with the mirrors on like the front fender. So, I want to emulate that. We'll put the we'll put the mirrors on the front fenders there. About six meters from where you're actually sitting. Oh, how has this turned into a nightmare? Oh, this was this was supposed to be decent. What is what is this? This looks like a shisha. Oh lord. Well, we know what's going on the extreme one. Uh, there we go. We we want to make this. Oh wow. Okay, so we'll, we'll side pipe it. Why not? Why not? And because it's dual, we'll have two of them. And we'll make them slightly bigger. Hell yeah. We'll put one of those, like, European sort of... Flying spirits. Oh, that's... Yeah, mm, 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 yeah, that's... Yeah, that's really not worked out very well kind of like the rest of the car itself it's a perfect metaphor we're leaving it i think there's nothing else we can i was gonna say do to it it's almost do for it there's nothing else we can do to save it so that is the that is the trumpster the trumpster luxury we'll call it so we shall Let's see, we shall put that against the rules. So, 200 market score. Have we got that? Yes, we've got that. 60% uh, affordability. Yeah, yeah. I suck. 60% affordability. Yeah, we have that. No quality slider abuse. It's all plus threes or worse. Um, engineering time of less than 120. We've almost halved that for a luxury car. That's, that's really awesome. And, you know... Especially on campaign, you can just set that down. We can be selling that in like 30 months. And must be terrible to drive. Well, I guess there's only one way to uh, test that. And that is by exporting it to BeamNG and seeing what we can do. Christ. It is so shiny. Like, I can barely see it. Wow. Okay, let's export that, and I'll see you in BeamNG.
So, here we are in Beam with the Trumpster Luxury, about to start the trial here on the automation test track. Now, um, I'm trying to remember what we got in the um, simulation. I did a quick simulation in automation before porting it over, and I think we got a 3 minute 14, so I think a true test is whether I'm going to be able to get anywhere near that or at least around the track in one piece. Now before I start I will uh, admit now I do not have a wheel or a controller. I'm doing this purely via keyboard so it's going to make my life a little bit harder um, certainly but um, you know we'll see what happens. I'm a peasant so let's do this. Oh yeah, that sounds, it sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like an air raid site, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, we made it, <laughs> we made it through, the understeer is terrible. Oh, yeah, you really gotta tap away at this, with the arrow keys, there you go. What if we didn't damage on the phone? No, it's still pristine. And you'll notice that the chrome effect, thank God, isn't all that bright. Yeah, so, oh, here we go. Simple corner. We survived. Yeah, so the chrome isn't all that bright, which is probably a good thing, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see. Oh, God! Yep. Made it. Cool. So we're about to hit the first checkpoint now. I... Don't know why the HUD's all gone missing, so I have no idea what time we're currently at. Oh god! It's the same reaction I never expected to be so bad. Going corner to corner. There we go. Now it's just a long straight, and I'm really, really worried about the corner up there, which you may be able to see in the distance. I have no idea how this is going to go. break at the earliest marker, that would be pretty good. I don't need to actually. It's pretty good. It's not good, it's not good, it's really not good. Oh no, there's the sand. Ugh. Oh, we're sliding. Oh, this the slide, there we go. I suppose the beautiful thing about this car is that it's so uncontrollable, but it's so fat and slow that you can't actually have a serious accident in Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a serious accident. I'm going through here at 30. I would imagine. So we're probably coming up, probably coming up to about two minutes now. This thing's... This thing's being pretty rapid. It's the last corner now, I'm fairly sure. Turn you anything. Oh no. No, it's not the last one. I was gonna say that was really astoundingly quick. But we've still got this little bit to go, which is pretty much the same, except a bit tighter and more uphill. Let's see if we can get uh. and I can only imagine the wheel in this too would be about the size of a ship. So Driving this would be a real experience. Oh god, we're not gonna bit it on the last corner, are we? Stay off the wall, stay off the wall. <laughs> just about oh yeah, we just about make it through. And across the line. 330. Oh god. <laughs> that was really apocalyptically poor. But, we did it. We survived in that machine for a whole lap. And now, it can be done. 200 market score, 
60% affordability, zero drivability whatsoever. That's been the worst best car challenge, and I think it's been a success. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to uh, click on that little up thumb. If you didn't, then, you know, too bad. And, uh, yeah, s subscribe, hit the bell if you want, and I'll see you for whatever I decide to randomly do next.